show you how you can create your interactive menu a bar animation in figma as you can see right now so these kind of interactive menu drop down menu animation you can create in figma so how you can create this drop down menu animation in figma so i will show everything in this video so make sure that you subscribe to the channel and so let's get started with this tutorial hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel mw design strategies and so i will show you everything in this video so let's get started with this tutorial and now i will show you how you can do this so let's come uh, first of all let's come to our canvas so hi here i will show you everything how you can create your interactive menu animation in figma right so here uh, first thing is first what you have to do is to create uh, this kind of you know uh, component so you have to create this kind of rectangle uh, component right and so once you create this you already have this uh, created one so once you create this you have to what you have to do you have to simply go to this component and you can create one component for this okay once you create the component now you have to uh, do you have to create a one variant so once you create one variant Variant, you can go to the and create one more variant once you create the another variant now what you have to do we have to create uh, make it uh, expand this and now what you have to do you have to expand all this and then you have also you also have to expand this one right so once you expand all these two now what we have to do we have to uh, duplicate this one and now once you duplicate this you can adjust your size accordingly and then you can also create your expand your main component rectangle like this and make sure that your size should be equal right and so once you're done with this you have to uh, now delete this because we don't need this anymore and now we have to create option for this so you can create option one so let me just create option and you have to you can fix all your fill and hook uh, sizes right and then this should be something like 16 from both sides or maybe you can uh, keep it zero and so uh, we'll show you how why i'm keeping it zero and so you have to duplicate these options and now you can set this your auto layout to downwards right to the vertical not horizontal right so once you set it downwards now we have to create a uh, duplicate or, or your options right and now you can give, uh, give gaps 10 or 12 pixel gaps between this and so i'm gonna keep uh, right now 20 10 pixel gaps and now this option uh, we have to give one more gap between both side or uh, left, left and right side we have to give gaps so now i'm gonna give 10 pixel or maybe 16 pixel gap from both side and now once you give gap from both side but you don't make sure that you won't give this one because we have to create this one something different right like selected or maybe hover effect we have to show so that's why i'm not gonna give any gap for this one but after that i will give so i will show you just in a second how i can do this how you can um, create select how i can make it selected one right so now make it third and make it second and this one first and this one fourth and then this one should be fifth right and then what we have to do we have to uh, we have to give uh, make it selected so you know to make it selected what we have to do we have to create we have to add stroke so you can see there is a stroke section so you can add stroke and now here is a trick how you can do this so here's a trick you can see there is a you know all type of bottom lines top bottom left and right so you can also make it custom so for now i'm gonna give it left and you can see there is a left uh, stroke will appear here and then in order in order to make it selected you can give gap now so now you can give 16 pixel gap and now the stroke should be you can make this stroke like one pixel or two pixel bold right so right now i'm gonna give three pixel bold I'm, I'm gonna make it three pixel bold and now you can change the color to blue or your preferable color so I'm right now my preferable color is blue so I'm gonna keep blue color right and now what we have to do we are in order to make the pro typing so what you have to do in order to make the pro typing so make sure that you watch this video till the end you won't skip anything from this video if you skip then you won't be able to learn the animation properly in this video right so make sure that you won't skip your this video and watch this video till the end so now in order to do that you can see there's a hamburger menu and so in, you can see there is a hamburger menu we have to go to a prototyping section and now we have to create uh, link this to our second component so now you can see there is a plus icon so you can link this to second one and now we have to adjust the smart animation prototype here so if you do that you can uh, keep the setting on click and this one should be smart animation so make sure that you this should be smart animate always and now the third thing is that should be that should not be gentle quick bounce slow or anything from the above it should be custom 
and you can see there is a custom always set here like here uh, let me just recreate this let me re readjust this and show you so if i if i click on custom you can see there is a it will be like this so we have to make it something like we have to adjust this to 800 or 900 milliseconds here right and this uh, you can see there is a dot so you can set the dot like downwards a little bit so it should not be like this okay it should be downwards so once you made this downwards what will happen that your animation will always be or always be animate like smooth animation will be there right your animation will be smooth animation right so make sure that your dot should be down and then you can do something like this and now we can cross this and now we have to create another animation uh, another linking so and to do that we have to uh, get the plus icon so i already have this plus so uh, sorry uh, cross icon so already have this one so let me just paste it here here and now you can see we have to attach it to the first one first component and same setting settings you can keep here and this dot can be above but it should be always down right it can be above but you can make it down right you should make it down right okay now what we have to do we have to click on the first component and now we have to copy this and now paste it in our actual uh, design so let me just create another another screen uh, another frame and now paste it here in the center and now what you have to do we have to click on the shift shift and command and you can play your prototyping just in your cam canvas so once i click on this one you can see there is an animation will appear like this so that's how you can create your bar drop down menu animation drop down menu animation in figma so absolutely this is really very good anim animation and you can also try it in your own projects in your own uh, designs right so you can try this and hope this video will, will be helpful for you and for your future so make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet and so i will create more animation video related to this one and i will create more you know components animation interactive animation in figma so i will create each and every part of animation on my channel so make sure that you subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next video bye bye